Hi, welcome to Garage Geek. If you're watching this, I just want to say thank you right from the get-go. I had a supremely awful class. My my day was going so well until the last class, and then it was just a nightmare. So I'm kind of using YouTube right now as a stress release. So when I got home, I had two boxes waiting for me, and I'm just going to show off what I got. Talking about these things, about things that I love, that's going to help with my stress. <laughs> Sorry, I am using you right now. Sorry about that. So the first thing that I got was I bought 18 DVDs and I paid, uh, I think, $19 for 18 DVDs and I paid $5 for shipping. So I, I got these 18 DVDs that I'm going to go through for $24. So like maybe a dollar and a quarter each with shipping. So I want to show them off and I want to show you what's out there and what do you think? Many people don't buy DVDs anymore, and so you can find them uh, really, really cheap, and you can find a lot of bargains. So I'm going to show you the ones that I picked up, and there were tons of like action movie DVDs. I really didn't want those, uh, especially because I don't think action movies are as nice in DVD format. But a lot of these movies, I don't know if they have Blu-ray releases, and uh, I just wanted them for my collection. So I'm going to show them off. There's a couple of Shakespeare centered ones, so I, I'm kind of off. So here is The Merchant of Venice with Al Pacino, uh, blah, Al Pacino and Jeremy Irons, Joseph Fiennes, Lynn Collins. There you go. So again, this one was a dollar. A Man for All Season. I need to show him over here. So this is an Academy Award, uh, I believe, Best Picture of the Year. This is a great movie. Um, I'm sure this is on Blu-ray. It must be. And I might even have it, but for a dollar, I wasn't going to pass it up. A lot of this, you have to kind of make a decision on the spot. And some sometimes, instead of looking up whether I had it or not, I went ahead and uh, bought them. Now, this was an absolute steal. This is A Midsummer Night's Dream. And this one is from, I don't even know what year it is, but it's, I mean, it's definitely old because this one stars James Cagney. I don't even think I've seen this. The art on this is very art deco. I'm so glad I picked this up. I'm pretty sure I have this in a couple different formats, but it even had the slip case, so it's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I um I had to, I had to go ahead and pick this up. Yeah, I mean I have uh, I have a collection of that. Here we have the China Syndrome. I remember I actually saw this in the movie theater as a kid. I was so young. And for that, I don't know if I've actually seen it since. I think it won a couple of Academy Awards. There are some special features on it. I didn't know that when I bought it. I just grabbed it. Great stars, Jack Lemmon, Jane Fonda, and Michael Douglas. Annie Hall. I'm pretty sure I have this on Blu-ray. Wasn't exactly sure, but for a buck, I was not going to pass this up. Morton Assad and I were just talking about this movie, and so it was like kismet. So I needed to pick this up so that I could watch it. Here's another one, A Year Without Santa Claus. I absolutely have this in another format, but I don't think I have it in the single DVD uh, version, and I picked that up. I mean... <laughs> This is classic. This is amazing. This one, I I probably shouldn't have bought. So this is a Martin Scorsese movie, Silence. Uh, I read the book. I saw the movie at the theater. This one is definitely not going to benefit from being on Blu-ray. However, I'm sure there must be a Blu-ray of this. But I wasn't sure. And I saw it for a buck. And I was like, why let it go by? What if there isn't a Blu-ray of this? And I just decided to sit, you know, to play it safe and grab this. This is a great movie based on a great Japanese novel. And the ideas in this novel are so good. This was an Academy Award winner that I hadn't seen. Uh, there are a lot of stickers on this. It's okay. I actually throw the cases away. So all the stickers on the front aren't going to matter. But I wanted to... I, I actually have never seen this. Uh, I'm sure it's available for streaming, but... It's an Academy Award nominee or winner, and I decided I wanted it for my collection. Here's another a really, really good movie about a weird subject matter. And this has, well, they don't even have the, the main guy who was so amazing. What's his name? Jack Earl Haley. Wow. He, his role in this is phenomenal. He's so good, but he's playing a character that is just, I don't know. 
if you haven't seen, I don't, I don't want to spoil this movie, but if you haven't seen it, it's worth watching. And the subject matter, though, is kind of chilling. Here's another Academy Award Best Winner, uh, Best Movie. Ordinary People saw this when I was young. It's very good. I haven't seen it recently. I might have this already, but for a buck, I was like, nope, getting it. Another, <laughs> another Academy Award. I think you're seeing a theme here. This one won Best Foreign Film. This is an amazing movie, Babette's Feast. And to get this for a buck, no way I was passing that up. That movie is so cool. Oh, and it's also based on, which is, it's really funny because this is based on a short story by Isak Denison, who also wrote Out of Africa. I'm pretty sure it's that's true. To me, it was really interesting because I believe Isak Denison originally wrote in um, English, but this movie is a foreign language film. And it, it's just, it, I know this happens a lot probably, but seeing a work in English uh, being, being made into a film in another language and not vice versa is, is pretty cool. If you know more movies like that, uh, please put them in the comments. I'd love to hear. This is a science fiction movie that I, I really liked. It's strange. It's not going to be the best science fiction movie ever, but it's really interesting. The the uh, the actors in it are interesting. I love Juliette Lewis, but this even better is Angela Bassett in this movie. I don't know for a buck. I wasn't. I was going to make sure I have that in my collection. Enemy. This movie is freaky, and this director, uh, what's his name? The director of this is phenomenal. Every movie he's made is amazing. God, what's his name? Denis Villeneuve. Okay, that guy's movies, all of them, every single one of them are so good, worthy to be watched. And oh, this is also based on a, a, a novel, The Double by Jose Saramago. I actually need to read that. This movie is so weird, so good. Spiders. So this one I picked by accident. There's an old movie, I believe from 1938 or 39, called Red Dust. And there were stacks of movies and we were grabbing them based on, you know, as the person was scanning through. I'm like, oh, Red Dust. And when he pulled it out, I, I it was actually she, when she pulled it out, I didn't want to, you know, oh, I don't really want it. Um, and then when I saw the two actors in it, Hilary Swank and Chiwetel, Chiwetel Ejiofor, both great actors. And so I was like, well, you know what? I need to give it a chance. That one was by chance. Here's another amazing movie, Incendies. Is this the, this one won Oscars, but who was, oh my gosh, it's Denis Villeneuve again. Such, okay, this is a great movie. Again, I'm, I'm just, I guess I'm just promoting Delis, Denis Villeneuve in this, in this uh, video. Great, great movie for a buck. Wow. Again, this one won the Academy Award Best Picture. It was a dollar. I was like, of course, this is available on Blu-ray. But for a buck, I was like, ah, let me grab it. And finally, this one is the one I paid $2 for because they they had um, the thing saying that, hey, if you grab a horror movie, horror movies are more popular. So we're charging $2. Now, this is I, I I'm pretty sure I have this. But just in case I grabbed it. Manhunter was the original uh, movie based on the Hannibal Lecter books. And uh, this actor, he's very, very famous. I can't remember his name because I'm so bad with names, as you can see. Anyways, he plays the original Hannibal Lecter. Even though I might have it already, I was like, for $2, I'm going to grab it. I actually think this one is out of print, and it, it's it's an expensive movie to actually buy. So for $2, I think I got a real deal. That was my DVD haul. All of these for $24. What do you think? Was I stupid to buy them? Uh, would you have bought any of these for a buck? Uh, maybe, let's say $1.25 with, with shipping. What do you think? Another package was waiting for me when I got home were these comics. And so I'm gonna just show them off. These are the comics that I got. Uh, a couple of them, they were being sold in bundles. So I got these three issues of Marvel Premiere. Now, some of them, they're not in the greatest condition, but I was getting them for really good prices. I think I got these three for $6. That's an amazing steal. Even if just one of them isn't in great shape, the other ones are. So this is Iron Fist um, Marvel Premiere. Next, I got a bundle of two Kzars. And this is Kzar number one. I actually paid a little bit more money for this. I think I might have paid like six to eight dollars. And then I got this one, but I already had this one, but he was bundling it together. So I, you know, I went ahead and got it. 
Another bundle that I got were three Submariners. Again, I had this one. And this one is in a, a beat up copy anyway. But I got all three of these for like a ridiculously uh, low price. And so for the two of them, I think, again, I paid like $6 for all three of these. I got some gems. I got three Jimmy Olsons. I got this one. And this Jimmy Olsen, it says, ha! So Flame Bird is Jimmy Olsen and Nightwing is Superman. Now that I know your secret, I'll become King of Kandor. Nightbird, how can we fight this evil imposter when he has superpowers and you have none? Look at them. They're just flying around with these these uh, belts on. And it says, the dynamic duo of Kandor. See Flame Bird Olsen and Nightwing Superman battle a super outlaw with their wits and utility belts so just their smarts and their utility belts they're gonna beat this guy who is a fake superman although he looks like the real superman to me next we got this other copy of jimmy olsen this is hilarious so basically he's trying to pull him away but he's agreed i don't want to read all this to you again he's he's telling superman that he needs to stay here he promised all the female legionnaires that he's gonna stay there for them and they are saying jimmy's mine girls no he's my boyfriend i love every yard of him <laughs> that is awesome go jimmy go and then we, we have jimmy he's become a bizarro i love how superman is always just flying in right through the window hooray me find fortune someone leave valuable trash in wastebasket Great Caesar's ghost. What happened to Jimmy? He's acting completely loony. Look at his face. Oh, he's been turned into a bizarro and even I can't return him to normal. This stuff is like gold. I got those ridiculously cheap. I don't even know. Like two or three dollars for each of these. Like, that's a steal. I got two Marvel team ups. I think I paid a little bit more for these because other people wanted them. I, I think I paid four, four and three or so. I mean... That's still ridiculously cheap. Now, these next three. Wow. This is Tomahawk, but it's 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 really son of Tomahawk. It's real it's near the end of the run. In fact, this issue that I'm gonna show you is the penultimate issue. And this one is issue number 136. But look at this amazing art. Now, Joe Cuber, I have my problems with Joe Cuber art, but not here. Look at the the framing, everything. And so this guy is like uh, basically saying, hey, this, he's no dog, chair, or piece of dirt. You can't have him. And he's like, he's my property. But look at that beautiful background picture of a really ugly subject. What a thing to tackle in comics. I've got to read this. And then look at this one. If you want to leave this way, welcome to our town. <laughs> Okay, that's very welcoming. And the last comic that I got, I paid $12 for. This was a splurge. So this is a key comic, and everyone was bidding on it because it's the first appearance of Kiss in comic form. I'm like, I don't care about that. I really didn't. But I want that cover. Look what a gorgeous, gorgeous cover that is. So what do you think? Did I pay too much? I kind of splurged on all of these but I paid $12 for this one. I'm not supposed to be buying all this stuff. I just, I need to stop. I'm still on whatnot buying this stuff. Anyways, that was my DVD and comic book haul to kind of, I, I feel better already just talking to all of you. Thank you, everybody out there on YouTube. I used you as my therapy today. It was it was pretty bad today. So I want to thank all of you for helping me through my, my tough, tough day. And any comments that you have would be greatly appreciated. Again, I want to thank all of you for the support.